studio and welcome to Friday with Friends. Hope you'll follow along the train tonight. So I'm trying to do something very simple this week because I just started a new job. Life is a little crazy getting used to the new schedule. So we're just going to try something simple and do a little ribbon. Okay, today I'm going to be working with an Artist Loft Level 3. This is a 10 by 10. It is taped and push pinned. I'm going to put a base on this one. So I'm going to use my Sherwin-Williams in tricorn black as my base. And then I'm using up leftovers. So some of these I'm going to guess. Most of these I know what they are. Um, there's some mixed up colors here. So this is Amsterdam as a orange. This is Liquitec Basics in turquoise blue. And there may be some Artist Loft metallic cobalt mixed in there. Not quite sure. This is Liquitec Basics deep violet mixed with Artist Loft neon violet. This is Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown, which I think I threw a little bit of uh, DecoArt 24K Gold into. This is DecoArt 24K Gold mixed with some Amsterdam Light Gold. This one is uh, Amsterdam Turquoise Green mixed with Master's Touch Ocean Green. This is Artist Loft Neon Pink. Um, I think this is the Artist Loft Light Yellow. I, I'm not sure. I think that's who that's from. Or maybe it's... Wait. No, that is Artist Loft. And it is... I don't know what they call it. It's yellow. And I can't find the two. So, uh, that is Artist Loft yellow of some sort. Uh, this is DecoArt Metallic Emerald, DecoArt Metallic Bronze. This is a mixture of Liquitec Basics, um, Light Blue Permanent, and Folk Art Treasure Gold Blue Quartz. Four. So let's get down to the table. Alright, so we're going to start by laying down a base coat. So we're just going to Pour a little of this on there. Okay, let's get some colors down. So because it's a ribbon pour, all we're going to do is like run lines of color this way and that way around the canvas and see what happens.
bring back out some of those first colors again real quick. So we're just going to put one or two more stripes of some of the early colors on so they're not lost. Okay, now we're going to tilt. Just any old which way. Just to see what happens. play with it some more because not terribly impressed let's see maybe we'll swipe it let me get my swiper if I pull a full swipe on it what color do we want to swipe with Here goes nothing. Yeah, well, that was definitely nothing because it didn't actually do the job. All right, hold well, on. get a damp paper towel to swipe with. too thick here, but we're going to give it a go. Alright, I got something cool coming up over here, but this is just a streaky mess. Slightly happier. <laughs> I think these paints are definitely too thick for this, but we're just playing here. Some days you just want to play and experiment. I wasn't really digging the ribbon for. This is getting prettier as the bubbling's coming up. So. 
Actually, that's pretty cool. Because the more it sits, the more it's bubbling, the more it's doing cool stuff. I'm just going to let it sit here and do its thing for a little bit. Sometimes you have to have patience with your pour, not rush it. You think that something's not turned out right. And you leave it sit for a few minutes, and all of a sudden you have a whole different pour. That's cool. I think I'm going to leave that. I'll torch it one more time. Make sure we got all the bubbles up. That's definitely different. And I like that I've got a little bit of craziness going on up here. Where the blue didn't move off as fast. But I love the streaks of the different colors popping up. And the little bubbles all over. All right, I'm gonna clean up some of the mess around it and then I'll give you a close up, hold on. Okay, so this is way off from my original intent, but I'm really pleased because it looks sort of funky cool. You see in the colors popping up in these streaks that change colors as they go. Popping up through that black. Got some of that light blue up in this corner here. The one side poured off faster than the other. Just really unique, different result. All right, I'm going to let this dry and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to give you semi-dry results because this is still about 50% wet. But I am really happy. A lot of bubbles came up. I love the way the colors change as they go along because of... The different streaks of color that were underneath. So I think this really has a really cool look. It almost looks like you know a melted crown type of thing if you sort of go in the opposite direction in which I have it as top and bottom. You know it almost looks like the, the crayons are melting down the way that way. But I really like how it turned out not what I was originally planning but you know sometimes you got to change your mind. Now this is part of our Friday with Friends, so please follow along the train. After me is Janet with Acrylic Creations by Jay Witty. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate that. And if you do subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone.